facing. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? Yeah. I cannot waste my money on that. I can sell the the plastic bottles I found at the, the frit. Let's run. Okay, here we are again. Uh, there. The tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the machine. Nice. Can I like sell this to her? Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. A warehouse? I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. She scrunches up her face into an expression of consummate adolescent skepticism. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Uh, so this manana fella. Has talked to the to the woman. Hola wandering man. How can I help you? Sorry, busy wiretap or no. calling in tactical air support. You guys have air support. I get it. All right, I may have first. Don't mm. maybe that would work. Yeah, no. Whoa. Okay. Running off, Ari. Okay, nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't think there's anything back here anymore, as far as I can see. Wild vines, look at that. Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. Okay. don't know where to go now it's the first time playing this game that I'm kind of unsure what to do maybe I can go back to my room wouldn't it be funny if my badge would just be somewhere there is cold and not particularly inviting no time to rest yet why is there a door like a mirror hangs on the bathroom wall ah right in it your face adorned with the expression huh. okay the fan stands still the lights are on Okay, did that do anything? Probably not. Nope. 
the fan stands, the lights are off. Yeah, I know how lights work. Okay, nothing here. The door is closed. Damn, where could that badge be? Okay, talking to that guy has... Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. Can I help you? Yes, have you got it? A lot, a lot, lot for the room, drinks, and broken window. A hundred and thirty real. Oh Jesus! Like what? I was okay. I still need to save a little. Huh. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's revise. Shall we? Map. Broken window. Oh. Tasks. So. Uh, these guys are not yet there. I need to be able to... <laughs> Um, like, not true up. And then pay for the damages, sure. Track down your badge, this is... This is also a thing. Who made the call reporting the crime? Hmm. Explore the rolling secret. Okay, yeah, that's. I need to find some sort of key here. And then also finding my gun. And then these two. This one is timed. This. Yeah. For this one, I need to find my badge. So. The worn and beaten wooden platform. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Huh. Okay, I don't get it. Where can I still go? Oh man. Okay, maybe I should put some money in here. This coin operated viewer is. Ah, yeah, right. This is the broken one. This coin operated viewer is fake. Your money disappears into the coin slot. A clunk. The ring of metal. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry. Different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape. Like a ghost. The lenses shift. The ghost sharpens into a islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. Its concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. There are ruins of some kind of building there. Really? 
I don't have the eyesight to make it up. Okay, so that was it. No important information? Great. That was a waste of 25 cents. Every snowflake is like a little gift from the sky. Okay. Let's do it. A girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Why do you keep your hands what folded? What do you mean, sir? You don't need to be worried, I'm here to help. You can show them to me. Actually... She looks around, anxiously. Her hands remain folded. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. You heard me, hands up. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands. Her nails frayed, nearly chewed Ooh. down to the flesh. Ooh. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Nice. Uh, there were a few other hints. It's super simple for a detective such as myself. Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. But I can figure out why you bite your nails. I've got a few reasons in mind. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. You're uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's putting. Red cyber in she chewed it on nails means you're or something. There are no riches without. Well, it's the first one, of Maybe course. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. By the way, another ace deduction by number. <laughs> I hope this entertains. It was okay, sir. She still got a rebellious streak. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. Okay. Uh, okay. You're quite sober. Ah. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. <laughs> Wait, how do you know I'm usually not... And I'm having a grin. I'm also sad and hurts my head. Okay. Because you usually aren't. Wait, what? And I'm having a grin. I sure hope you are, sir. Okay. There she stands, swaying on her feet. Okay. Assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. Some There's something you're missing. What does it feel? Ah oh, man. Suggestion. Wait. Can I not upgrade my suggestion with something? Yes. This. Will this help? Uh, only one way to find out. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Nope. Okay, let's put this back on. It's the type of book where there's a ri or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. <laughs> it happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. I see. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. What about on both of the 
men are bad. These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. Well, if it's written, written really, really well. Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. Yeah, that would be interesting. That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. <laughs> not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people, and everyone is happy in the end. <laughs> about a book where the man and lady business doesn't work out at all. I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mum. Yeah, you think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup? Maybe I will. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she can help out. Anything else you're curious about? That's enough. Maybe for some romance. about other books? Who are these famous oh, people? Kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. Okay. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. <laughs> yeah. Does make the readers more famous, does it? But it does make the famous people more famous. Yeah. They don't need it. Fame sounds delicious. Maybe someone will write a book about me one day. Famous for vain people. I have better things to do. These famous people sound like a bunch of dorks. Uh, I think. Why would they do that, sir? Uh, that'll show them. I'll be a superstar cop in the papers and everything. That's so cool. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body, holding a gun. Oh, it did help. 17% and it was 28%. With suggestion two. Okay. So if I can increase my suggestion even more. Somehow. Ah, I have a minus one suggestion with this. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Forty two percent. Because you know each other. Nice. She's been talking to you so openly because you've talked before. So, on second thought, maybe I should. Hang on, see, so we've met before. Yes, I stand in this spot all the time. Huh. You've been running around all week, sir. Sometimes without your shirt on, asking people questions. I haven't really understood what about. Did I ever talk to of you? Of course, you stopped by a few times. You certainly look better than the last time I saw you. What do you mean? Uh, thanks, I'm trying. Yeah, I can see. You don't have party eyes anymore. Party eyes. Party eyes. Yes, of course. That makes sense. <laughs> That's a nice euphemism. I have to rem remember that one. You know, like a cat in the dark. All big and wide-eyed. <laughs> it certainly looks odd on a man. Yeah. The swiveling eyes of a loony drug addict. That is what she meant. Yes, I, I probably good garnered that. Is it, yeah. Fuck yeah. You should get some party eyes right now. Fuck Snap yeah, those baby. On you, boy. Doesn't know what she's talking about. Forget about it. Does that mean I've been partaking in narcotics? Oh, baby. That's not what you have to worry about. <laughs> worry about the important thing. So, why didn't you tell me you knew me to begin? Thanks. Okay. I didn't know I had to do that. All right. Yeah. It's. I mean, I really like this. Thanks. I've learned something about myself today. I'm glad I could help you, sir. Uh. Okay. I can put my shirt back on. No. Nope. Ah. Ching. What do you know? Changing... Uh.
Changing your clothes does change a man. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Can I maybe? Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. God, ugh! I told her not to do that. It's such a disgusting habit. She'll get over it. Anxiety is a part of life. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she can do anything about it. She can, if she has enough willpower. This yeah. This is called growing pains. Life isn't easy. Life doesn't give breaks. That's such a boomer phrase. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. What you're doing is wrong, even I know that, and I usually don't know anything. <laughs> that is true, and obviously the will of the market, but maybe make an exception for your daughter. Yeah, actually it's all super alright for the kids. I forget. Okay. She stands stiff and severe, silently, silently fuming. fuming. Ten or so seconds pass without change. Okay. She's looking for one, but there simply aren't any good arguments for being an asshole. Yeah, it's true. Oh no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. Is this husband Annette's father? She told me she doesn't go to school. Yes, my husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter, soon we'll both be off for Grand Caron. Wait, Grand Caron? What's that? It's a proper place to live. One of the most peaceful neighborhoods east of Jamrock. You may know it for its massive housing project. Ah, of course, Most yes. Of the buildings are empty at the moment. It's a great opportunity to get ahead of the crowds. Better times ahead for sure. And your husband's also involved with the bookstore? He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Ah, uh, yeah. Super silent. Almost inaudibly so. Is she an only child? Yes, I'm afraid so. A real treat she is. It would be nice if she had... No, we couldn't have afforded more children, really. Not in this economy. In <laughs> this economy? Yeah. Oh, wait. That's one of the questions. Of course, yes, this economy. Uh, why not? We're quite busy people, you know, my husband and I. Quite busy. Children are a lot of work. Tell me you about don't it. You look like a father, so I don't expect you to understand. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I'm sure you do understand. She's been too busy, helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. This is a temporary solution, of course. Of course. I assure you, I of all people understand the importance of education. She will be back in school the moment the store takes off. Yeah. When people start reading again. And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. Alright, I had something else on my mind. Looks aloof. Her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. Okay, I think I did some good here. Right. Oh, wait. She's inside now. That's awesome. I'm sorry, sir. I can't talk right now. I'm very busy with my homework. I have so much homework now. You just can't think. Ugh. God damn. Out of the rain and into the gutter. Okay. Math. It's really difficult. Like, really. They say you need it to get rich. Better than standing outside in the cold, I guess. Oh, oh, I found something while you were away. What is it? I thought this would fit you. Like, thanks for helping out. Dick Mullen's hat. Nice. Like a detective does. Where did you get it? Okay, I get it. I kind of look just like Dick, except I'm an actual police officer. Just what Dick Mullen would ask. 
I got it from behind the curtain. I'm not really supposed to go there. <gasps> Ooh. A detective yes, hat. just like the one Dick Mullen wears all the time. You'll look way more serious with that. Huh. Right, I have to get back to my homework now. Poor mum notices. Man, this is hard. Damn, kind of want to help her out. Plus one encyclopedia. Nice. Ooh, yeah, this looks fancy. Wait, I want to wear this. There we go. Looks a lot better now. Uh, okay. Maybe we should just talk to people randomly. I can't believe it's snowing again. It felt like springtime just a few days ago. Excuse me? The street sign says fuck the police. Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I can't believe it. It felt like me. I am just a gardener. Cool, and what are you. I'm working. Okay. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. Ah. Well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Yeah. Don't worry, Miss. We are here to clean it up. We can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Huh. Okay, that was some new dialogue. What do I need for this one again? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. No. Nope. Volition, I don't think I have any clothes that upgrade that, right? Nope. Uh. Oh man. Yeah. Nothing really going on here. I also need to get like past this thing somehow. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten night. Uh, put skill points into perception. Oh. Here. Well, maybe if I level up. Maybe. Okay. What's gonna still do? Uh, actually, I have to round off the stream because it's already 10 o'clock and that's usually the end of my stream. <laughs> All right, I'll just make a, a safe state here. And uh, yeah, to all of you watching, uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, I'll see you all next time when I continue this adventure. Okay, bye-bye.